Hello, Year Eight. Welcome to Mr. Chen's classroom. How are you guys? So today in science, we will actually learn how to read the periodic tables. So in there, I'm gonna teach you how. Uh, what are chemical symbols? And I will actually go through what are metals, metalloids, and non-metals. And I will go through the atomic numbers and also uh, atomic mass and mass numbers. Okay, so those are the key words. So, uh, let's begin. So, as you can see, uh, down the bottom we have periodic table and they are very colorful. This is actually a more advanced periodic table that you will see. So, but I'm just gonna uh, teach you the basic of it. Okay, I'm gonna teach you what those numbers means. I'm gonna highlight the numbers now. Okay, like those numbers. Like, what are these numbers means? And also the number at the bottom. Okay, look at those numbers. So, let's start from the first one. So, the way how periodic table works is it groups them from the lightest to the heaviest, okay? So, as you can see, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, there are how uh, light it is. Obviously, the bigger number it is, the heavier it is. However, the number at the top, um, there are two different numbers. All right, if you see here, there is one and one point zero zero eight. That one, um, that means if you watch the previous videos, it means the this that one is the atomic number. All right, the smaller number is the atomic number, and the bigger number is atomic mass. Okay. So, uh, atomic number represent the number of proton, number of proton, and atomic mass is the combination of number of proton plus number of elect uh neutron. Sorry, neutron. So, uh, what that means is. If we look at a uh, helium over here, that means there are two protons, and a uh, four of that means the combination of uh, four, uh, four a number of neutron and proton, uh, neutron and proton added together is four. So that means uh, we know there will be two protons and two electrons, uh, two neutrons. I keep saying neutron uh, electron for one reason, All right? Neutrons. So, uh, how do you determine that number? Uh, simple, pretty much means four minus uh, the number of protons, which is two, will give you two. Uh, neutrons, okay? Neutrons. All right. So that is what it means at the top, and along here. Did you know that um, all the elements are separated into 18 groups? Okay, um, I'm going to show you what these 18 groups are. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, there are 18 groups of them. Okay, uh, each group each group has similar similar characteristic so pretty much they kind of behave the same way all right they kind of behave the same way uh there are 18 groups of them 18 j okay groups it's cool isn't it um 
it's kind of like people where you have a bunch of friends and uh, brand, friends that you actually get along with are, are the one that have kind of similar personality to you. So that's how we group the periodic table. Okay. So um, chemical symbols are symbols that represent uh, each of the elements. So for hydrogen here, you have a symbol of H. For uh, zinc here, you have a symbol of ZH. Remember that always, always each element, by the way, each element always start with a capital letter. All right. So, but however, the second letter of the symbol will always be small, a uh, small letter. So, uh, some of the thing that uh, people get confused on is this one. I'm gonna give you an example. Example, C O, small letter. Which one do you think that will be C O? All right. So if you look over here on the periodic table, C O stand for cobalt. All right. However, if you write it like C O, both are big capital. That means it is a um, compound of carbon. That will be your carbon, and that will be your oxygen so you do not want to confuse people and you do not want to confuse yourself so make sure when you write them properly each element make sure only have one capital letter and if it has two capital letter that means they tend to be a molecule or a compound all right so so far, we went through what is chemical symbol. We went through what uh, are your atomic number, which is the number of proton, and what is your atomic mass. Atomic mass, uh, by the way, also called mass number in some um, situation. But basically, they are the same thing. All right, atomic mass is how heavy it is, and it is the combination of proton and neutron make sure you remember that okay so by knowing a proton number we can find out what the neutron number just by taking the number away okay so what next is uh, the categorization of metal metalloids and non-metals in your periodic table they are categorized into three big uh, category remember there are 18 groups of them right however some groups uh, can be grouped as a metal some groups are non-metal and the other groups are metalloid so metals when you look at this it is color coded as this here so metal alkaline here alkaline metal alkaline earth transition metal all three of these they are all metal so pretty much uh, metals are quite large so i'm gonna use black color okay so start from here to here the whole lot here and up to here okay so this part Potanium Potanium Polonium Polonium Teriums So up to here They are all metals Okay, so everything in here Are metal And in metal you have different types of metal as well uh, but don't worry about that at your year 8 level. You just need to know that whole group here are metal and that be the they, they have special characteristic 
which mean they're usually very metals are shiny all right they are very shiny and they're very dense all right heavy in that sense and they're a uh, high melting point they're very hard to melt you need to heat them up very uh very uh, give them a lot of heat energy for it to actually melt and it also has characteristic like uh, easily uh, shape shapeable, easily uh, bend or shape. Okay, and uh, that will uh, do. And the second one is you have. First, you have your metal, and then you have your non-metal. Your non-metal is, I will use, red color. So, non-metals are uh, a lot less than your metal, which are here. Okay, so this section is your non-metal, including that one as well at the top. So, non-metals are... Uh, they are they have the opposite characteristic to your metal uh, that means they are not shiny they are dull and they they can't conduct heat or electricity well at all and uh, when compared to metal they have low density and they melt at low temperature okay so literally all every everything that is opposite to what a metal is okay and that their shape cannot be bent easily because they're brittle and like your pencil if you look at your pencil lead pencil the the thing in the middle is called graphite right and they actually just break so easily okay that is called brittle and that is one of the characteristics of a non-metal because it is made out of carbon okay char carbon that include charcoal and stuff and lastly, we have uh, the purple dude. Uh, I'm gonna use now. Nah, I'm gonna use green actually. Uh, green, yeah, that would. Green are metalloid. Okay, these are your metalloid. And metalloid kind of have a characteristic of both. Uh, they can be shiny. They can be dull, and their shape, uh, can be easily changed. And uh, they are electric. They can conduct electricity and heat, but then it's not as well as the metal. Okay, so if you need to, please rewatch this video and listen carefully to what I have uh, told taught you, and heard, and hope that you actually uh, know how to read periodic table on a basic level now. Good work, guys. Uh, see you soon in the next video. Thanks for listening. See ya. Ciao.